Welcome back YouTube. This is part two of reviving a Mamoid SR1 roller. I saved you guys the boredom of all the cleanup work. You saw some of it in part one, but listen here, we've got everything all cleaned up and uh, we're going to reassemble it. And with everything going well, we will be able to start it up and run it today. So first off, let's get the engine reassembled. First we uh, install the crankshaft. And if you remember, if you watched in part one, how terrible this poor thing sounded. It was just, uh, I don't know how long it had been since it's seen oil and how long it had sat. But it, uh, this will be a whole lot better now than what it was. These are a very simple oscillating cylinder engine. They're single acting. Uh, there's no steam valve so whatever boiler pressure is is what the uh, cylinder sees so there's no speed control on these so oil the main bearings and uh, oil the connecting rod and then we'll put a little bit down in the cylinder itself Since the cylinder oscillates back and forth right here, we'll put a couple drops of oil on that. There's a spring-loaded bolt that holds the cylinder up against that valve block. So now that we've got some oil on everything, so now we'll put the flywheel back on. And this is just held in place with the set screw. The flywheel's aluminum. So don't want to get too aggressive on tightening it down so you don't strip it out. So I was saying that this is a an early model. And the later models, these were put together in these three spots with aluminum pop rivets. And this is the first iteration and so they used you can see these these little brass screws to hold the smoke box onto the front of the boiler and so we'll get these put in we'll tighten this last one up I did the other ones off camera so you guys didn't have to watch me struggle and drop them and that assembles the front of our uh, smoke box onto the boiler and this is all original paint all I did was give it a, a very good cleaning and waxing and uh, just to try to bring it back together and make it look like a interesting little model again so that's done we can put the boiler out of the way we can assemble the front fork this is uh, just a simple bent piece of steel drilled there's a spring on the bottom of it for to keep tension between it so it doesn't sit there and rattle back and forth in the front of the smoke box so, I cleaned up both of the rollers and polished them and, uh, we'll put a couple drops of oil inside those just to help lubricate them a little bit Assemble of this axle rod. Pushes through to the other side. There's a little bit of tension between those two. So we'll take our spring cap. It goes here on the end and be able to see how those work. It's just a little push nut. Shove it down on the workbench and 
shove our cap back on the end of it. There, now our front caster fork is assembled. We can put that back together on the front of the boiler. This just screws off the top. And this little brass cone here is where the steering rod goes. But, uh, we'll show you after we get it out and get to play with it a little bit. Uh, but the, the steering rod just screws down on the top of it and makes it so you can control the model, the steering direction a little bit. Yeah. A very primitive and crude but operable remote control toy. Rear wheels were, I did the same thing with those. They were uh, clean and polished. And again, this is all just original paint. The back wheels on this one are different from one another. On the later models, they used this design on either side. But the, the first generation ones, they were side specific. So we'll put a couple drops of oil in here. Insert our axle. Oil our other rear wheel. And we'll take our other push nut. It's the same as what holds the front on. And force him down on there. Pop him in. And there. So we have a fairly complete assembled model. I do have a new drive belt ordered for this, but this one here will, uh, it'll still work. It's, it looks a little bit dated, so the rest of it look like it cleaned up really well. Now, if you noticed on the first video, where I pulled the safety relief valve off and I pointed at it right here. The gasket was bad in that and uh, I replaced this with a silicone rubber o-ring and so that's our pressure relief valve. If you remember on the first one we also polished the whistle and uh, then our fill plug back that goes in the rear of the model here. I replaced the gasket on it also with a uh, silicone rubber o-ring. This is our burner assembly. These, uh, this is another iteration of the first generation because the later ones had a handle that uh, the burner assembly wasn't mounted to the rear scuttle it had a hole that came through and when you slid the burner in the handle of the burner assembly acted as a hitch so that's a, another telltale sign that this is one of the first models and that installs just by there's small hooks here and here that correspond with these uh, square holes here and here so it sits in there and just drops down. And that's it. That's a completed 1961 or 1962 Mamod SR1 steamroller. Go ahead and fill the burner assembly up. The burner uh, assembly on these, they run on denatured alcohol. So here is denatured alcohol in a small syringe and we'll just fill that up. I've never had one of these apart, but this is a, a solid stamped 
bowl, I would call it. And I believe underneath of, before these are folded over and they install this grate, I believe there's a cotton wadding packed down inside of there to hold that denatured alcohol. So then we also have to fill our boiler up. And in the back here is the check plug for your water level. Remove your safety valve. Well, in my mug over here, I've got distilled water. Reinstall our safety valve. Sorry, I'm doing a terrible job of putting my hand right where you guys want to look. Reinstall our level check plug back here in the rear. Remember we filled our burner assembly up previously. So you guys can see the flame, it's burning blue. Install this into the bottom of our firebox. And we'll wait to raise some steam another thing about these early first models is there's no forward and reverse rod on here there's no throttle these are forward only running engines The first steam that's coming out of here is very, very wet. So, but, uh, but we know that it's going to run. It's trying for us. I don't know if you can notice the steam coming out here at the top. That's the exhaust from cylinder just goes into that. Things run so fast. They have almost no power. Let's see if it has enough power to run the back wheel. Exciting. Let's try the whistle. The whistle works. We'll drop the fire out of it. Should still have sufficient steam. Well, there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions about, don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Like it, share it. But there you go. Well, thank you very much, YouTube. We'll see you later.